Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to Enterprise Guide. And in today's lesson, we'll be covering summaries. So we'll be doing both summary tables and summary statistics. If you haven't seen the previous three lessons on tasks, importing data, and what is Enterprise Guide, I recommend that you check those out as we're going to be building upon those. So let's start with this cars data. To get to the summary table and statistics, you have to go to describe and then click one of the two. We're, there's two ways to pursue each one. You can either use the wizard, which is a very simplified version, much quicker to get through, but not as customized. And that's what mostly we're going to be focused on. So we're going to do summary statistics. So here you can do a number of different statistics, including mean, max, um, uh, min, number of records, standard deviation, a whole bunch of different calculations. So here there are, there are three boxes. The, the These first two are probably the main ones. This first one's for sure required, which is the analysis variable. So here you need to drop in a numeric variable. So in this case, we're going to drop in invoice. And then here we can do a classification variable. So how are we going to split out these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these dollar amounts? So in this case, what we're going to do here is we're going to do it by type. And then we're going to go to next. So here I can store statistics and then I can save my statistics to a table. So I'm going to call this statistics for uh, vehicle type. And then here you can edit the statistics that you want to include. So you'll see here, these are the same default ones if you use proc means uh, in, in base SAS, you include percentiles and there's some additional ones as well. So we're going to press finish. And now we have this results table or this output data set that we can then use and, and modify as we see fit. So you can see hybrid has three observations. The average hybrid is $18,429. And you'll see the highest one are these sports vehicles. But you can see the standard deviation on these sports vehicles is quite high, which, which makes sense according to my understanding of sports vehicles. Perfect. Uh, and then you can customize the output and adjust the analysis using the more detailed ones, but that's essentially how you use summary statistics. Now what happens if we want to do some further analysis, set up a rapport, maybe cross tab the t table. So for example, to get a little bit more detail, let's go describe, let's go summary table. And then here, uh, what I forgot to mention is here you can put filters and filters on your data set ahead of time, but we're not going to do that. So here you need to add your analysis variable. Again, let's add invoice and then analysis variable label in columns and statistical labels in, in columns. We're going to leave that for now, but we are eventually going to change it. And then here you can add columns. So you can add columns. So say, for example, I want to add in uh, the origin see whether or not that has an impact and then I'm going to add in the type here so you can see here it's it's already creating the table it gives you a, a view of what it could potentially look at you can add in additional options like you can hide the column header hide the row header but we're gonna we're gonna leave it for now we're gonna go next and then here you can add in grand total only or none for each of the rows and and labels or rows and rows and columns you can adjust and add in more rows and we will add in more rows uh, just in a little bit. So we're going to call the labels total. That's fine. And then we're going to save this to a data set. Let's call this type and in origin invoice summary. Let's go ahead and finish that. And now we have this table here that, that we can use. Uh, but then here's here's a summary which is actually a little bit more useful so you can see here uh, how each of these calculations play into effect but you'll notice a couple things didn't happen that that wanted to happen we actually wanted to use average so instead of just redoing it we can actually just click on this modify here and then click on average and let's see what that looks like Oh, 
Okay, there you go. It just took a little while to, to run. And now you can see how the averages play out uh, by these by these different types of vehicles. So we can see here the hybrid vehicles are all, only in Asia, so I didn't really change anything. But the sports vehicle, for sure, you can see that there's a pretty big variety uh, variation between the different regions when it comes to that average type. And that definitely influences the the average in total so that gives you some ideas of areas that you could potentially explore to to better understand the data so there's some things i don't like here i don't like for example where it says invoice and average here it seems very redundant so what we're going to do here is we're going to modify this data here we're going to remove we're going to hide these so you can see what it looks like now and then uh let's let's add in some additional data here Let's add in, for example, drivetrain. Let's see whether or not drivetrain has any potential impact. Uh, and then let's go next. Instead of rows, let's do at, at each level. Let's do the total at each level. And let's call this invoice average, average invoice summary. So just doing the analysis here. And now you can see here it breaks out between front, all, or real world drive. And you could see all these calculations. It's pretty nice. It does allows you a lot of different details and calculations. Obviously, if you want to do this in a like change the details a lot and change every single aspect, then uh, you can certainly do that. So if we go to here, the summary table, uh, we can as well open it in an advanced view. And that will allow us to make all these sorts of modifications. So we can change the box area, change all these properties, change all the values, uh, and really adjust it to uh, how we how uh, adjust it to how we want it to look at the end. Well, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to let you be able to explore on your own uh, the advanced view. But that's essentially the summary tables in six, and you'll see them created here. This is summary statistics, summary tables. Very useful, very handy. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.